What's up guys, I'm Jerry Karczewski and I'm currently playing professional basketball overseas in Coimbra, Portugal. So this is actually my second professional basketball experience um, so far since graduating um, from Westmont College in Santa Barbara five to six months ago. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the steps I took to get overseas, my tips and my recommendations um, to get you a contract overseas. For me, when I graduated and I was trying to play overseas, there was no agent coach team knocking on my door to try and sign me. Um, I had to be proactive in the process and do everything myself to try and get overseas. First, I'm gonna talk about my non-negotiables, what you need to have to get overseas. The first thing that you need to have to get overseas is film. So right after my season ended, um, in college, I immediately started to make a highlight tape. I made this tape myself. I made it through iMovie. I got the tapes from my coach and I used Synergy to make the tape. Some recommendations I have um, for the tape is putting your best plays at the beginning of the tape. These coaches, these agents, um, whoever's evaluating the tape, their, their attention span is really short and you really wanna capture their attention right away with uh, your best plays. For my highlight tape, I use my best plays for my entire college career. Another thing I recommend is using full game tape. Um, if you had a really good game in college, um, you can send out a full game to teams, agents, and coaches. This will really help contacts get a feel for how, how you play on offense, how you play on defense, how you react to uh, a bad play. My second non-negotiable is having a basketball resume. Um, at first, the concept seemed kind of silly to me, having a basketball resume. I thought of a resume um, as, you know, for applying uh, for a nine to five job or any sort of job. I didn't think of having a resume for basketball, um, but this is really gonna help you in your process of getting overseas. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show my resume. It consists of a picture of me. I got my position, my height, my weight, um, where I played college, my accomplishments, my stats, my achievements, the records I broke, anything like that. I also have a couple pro experiences on there already. Um, so you're gonna wanna have a basketball resume because the more you can have for a team to get a feel for who, who you are as a player, the better. After I was done with my highlight tape and done with my resume, I immediately made a list of contacts um, that could help me get overseas. This list consisted of players that played overseas, coaches that coached overseas, um, agents that I was recommended to, um, anyone that was familiar with the process. And I would send emails, send texts out, hey, trying to get overseas, what do you recommend? Do you know any teams looking for guys? Do you know any um, agents I can get in contact with? Stuff like that. Um, so you're gonna wanna use any connection you have for getting overseas. My first pro experience in Hong Kong was hooked up through a connection. I didn't have an agent. Um, it was all hooked up through a connection I had um, with Westmont. So my coach had actually run a few camps out there in Hong Kong and there was actually two Westmont players that played on a um, team in Hong Kong before and they had a good experience with those players. So the team wanted two more Westmont guys. Um, so the team talked to my coach, the coach knew I was trying to play overseas and he recommended me along with my teammate, Noah Blanton. It's not always what you know, it's who you know. Um, like in basketball, trying to get overseas, it's not always how good you are, it's who you know. Um, so that goes perfectly with using your connection. Next, if you wanna get overseas, something that will make the process much easier is having a good basketball agent. 90% um, of the people I hit up about the overseas process told me um, in my search to get a good basketball agent. Um, it sounded simple at the time. It was a lot harder than it's than it looked. Why was it harder than it looked? Agents get a good reputation by delivering good players to teams um, that perform well for those teams. And me being a small guard from the NAI, um, 
not playing against high level competition like in D1, um, these agents are taking on a risk by taking a, a, a small, a low level player like me from the NEI. Um, so I sent out probably over 500, 600 uh, emails and didn't get much response, but ended up finding a guy that really liked my stuff, really liked me as a person, and he eventually signed me and now I have an agent. The way you get in contact with these agents, um, I'm gonna put a link down below. It's through the FIBA Basket website. You just go to the agents page and you can search by country. And for me, I just started going at it. Every country, I, I had a typed out email and I and I attach all the agents' names, their email, and, and I would start emailing them. Um, I also recommend if they have a WhatsApp um, or a Facebook, I recommend hitting them up that way too. So get yourself an agent. My next recommendation in getting overseas is playing on travel ball teams or going to exposure camps. I played on a travel ball team called News Release. It was also a Christian ministry deal where we ran camps during the day for kids over in Europe and we played against professional teams at night. So playing against these professional teams will help you get exposure. There's potential that one of these teams could be interested in you. There's potential that um, another team in the area um, is interested in you. I recommend emailing your stuff out to teams in the area, out to agents in the area. Hey, play in this team, come to the game, and try and get picked up that way. Another way to get picked up and how I got picked up to play here in Portugal is to go to exposure camps. I went to a camp in Spain called Euro Pro Basket. These camps um, are essentially camps that help you get exposed to teams either in the area or teams that the camp directors and the camp managers know. So going out to these camps is a really good opportunity to get picked up because you're already out in Europe. These teams know that you're serious about playing they can get it they can come to the camp get a feel for you in person um and you can get picked up there are a ton of guys who've gotten picked up this way and i highly recommend going to a camp like this if your agent is not getting you anything or you can't get an agent or um you're, ha you're struggling getting overseas thanks for watching guys i'm going to be breaking down every single one of these tips i recommended um in future videos and i'm going to be coming up with more tips about playing overseas and what life is like. So subscribe, like this video.